If you want to get more views on YouTube, uh, you need more people to watch your videos. <laughs> and the way that you do that is by getting more people to click on your thumbnails and on your videos. And the way to do that is to get your videos in front of more people. And the way to do that is to get found more in search on YouTube and on Google. And the way to do that is to craft better titles and descriptions with uh, use of keywords. And the way to find out those keywords is to use Keyword Explorer from TubeBuddy. <laughs> So that is taking it right back to its root and TubeBuddy Explorer can really help to increase your views on YouTube of your videos and your discoverability on YouTube in general. So that is what I want to talk about in this video. So let's come over to YouTube Studio and uh, head over to the top menu up here. This is the easiest way from the uh, YouTube Studio to get into Keyword Explorer. So if I just come down here, you can see we've got extension tools. It's the first one of the extension tools, Keyword Explorer. Incidentally, you'll notice just below that there was SEO Studio. So Keyword Explorer is to find the uh, the keywords to use. It's also a great sort of idea generation tool as well. If you've got a particular topic that you like to focus on and make videos on, this can give you ideas for video titles and things like that and uh, other ideas for videos in general. Uh, SEO Studio, which we'll be talking about a little bit later, um, is also then how you can really hone in and craft the absolute uh, you know title and description of your video and the tags that you're going to use and things like that. So as I say SEO studio I'll come on to a little bit later uh, but first let's have a look at the keyword explorer this is about finding the things that people are searching for so that you can basically uh, to use the name of another service uh, answer the public <laughs> but so that you can really you know answer the questions that people are asking and respond to the things that they are searching for now when you first come onto this page you will notice here that we've got what's trending now this is actually uh, trending topics on Google so uh, this is literally what's trending right now on Google uh, and if you click on the little arrow here what it will do is it will then uh, launch that in Google so that you could actually uh, see the results that they're getting on Google. So this is from Google Trends. I don't know why I specifically picked uh, one about Doris Day, but never mind. That is what's trending at the moment. So if I come up here, uh, this is taking me to Google Trends. So it's trending searches on Google and you can see all the different uh, things related to that. Uh, and in fact, here is all of those other ones. So you can see how this is just the, uh, the total trending searches. And then if you clicked on one, it would bring up what the related news was about that particular thing. So that is what that those uh, trends are uh, and by the way these are trends by country so if you want to come to a different country uh, you can just come in here and change for whatever country you're in or whatever country you want to uh, focus on uh, you can then uh, as well as clicking the little icon here to actually go to uh, the google trends on the website uh, you can just click on here and that would then be inputted into the uh, the keyword search uh, and so you would start to then search for keywords around that and could start to build out your uh, content that way. Uh, that isn't what I'm going to do today though because I want to search for something specific uh, and so as you can see we've got this big arrow here and it says enter a keyword and click explore uh, or cl click enter. So I'm going to search for TubeBuddy because I'm making of obviously uh, videos about TubeBuddy right now. So if I just type in TubeBuddy, um, then we've got a few different options here and this is bringing up some suggested search. Now, Outside of TubeBuddy, this is always a recommended way of, uh, you know, coming up with content, isn't it? I mean, YouTube themselves recommend it to uh, content creators to go into YouTube, uh, go into the YouTube search and start typing in a keyword uh, and then see the list of recommendations that come up. Well, in fact, this list here is the exact same list of recommendations that you would get in YouTube search itself. So uh, this is basically doing, therefore, what YouTube is recommending you do as a content creator. Look down these lists of uh, things that people are searching for uh, and then maybe use those as your guide. So perhaps maybe what I might want to do is come here at TubeBuddy Full Tutorial or TubeBuddy Tutorial. I'll, uh, I'll take uh, this one at the uh, top, TubeBuddy Full Tutorial. Uh, and then from here, what we can see is we've got uh, some information uh, in terms of uh, scoring and things like that. So I'll go through all of these different elements. The first thing that we see is this uh, pretty little chart, although perhaps not so pretty. It might look more pretty if it was in the green, maybe. <laughs> but this is basically saying what the score is for this keyword. And when I say keyword, it's actually keywords. It's this whole phrase here. Uh, what the scoring is for that. Uh, and we've also got these two tabs here. One says weighted and one says unweighted. 
If I click on unweighted, that is the general overall score uh, for that particular set of keywords. So just in general, what's the score of it? I'll come down to the score analysis in a little moment, um, but basically it's based on things like search volume and all that sort of stuff. Now, if I go to the weighted, uh, what that is, is this is the, uh, the score of this search term for your particular channel. So in this case, for my channel, uh, this is not really looking too great, is it? I have to say. <laughs> but let's have a little look at why that might be and we'll have a look at where we can improve on things. So down in the score analysis, this is all of the information that Jubuddy is then feeding into this sort of overall score at the top. So the first one is search volume. This is telling you how much, uh, how many people are searching for that specific term. Uh, obviously with uh, red being uh, not so many people and green being uh, lots of traffic, high searched uh, quantity for it. Next is you've got the competition and this uh, says in brackets weighted because we are looking for the weighted score. What this is looking at is a uh, how many other people are making videos that are serving this, uh, you know, this this search term basically? How many other things would be shown up if people searched? Um, so here is where I'm falling down significantly because there are lots of other people making videos about um, TubeBuddy full tutorial. <laughs> so if, there would be lots of other results coming up in the search. So that means I've got lots of competition. If I want to try and be at the top of those search results, uh, then it looks like I'm going to have a difficult job doing that because of uh, all this other competition. The next one though is optimization strength. Now this one it looks like I'm scoring quite highly on that. Uh, what this is, is this is looking at um, where there is the potential for me to optimize my title and description um, to include these uh, this particular set of keywords. Uh, and what that means is that lots of the other videos aren't necessarily uh, optimizing for this particular term. And by that, what I mean is, uh, let's look at, uh, look at an example, shall we? Because here we can see we're in the summary section. If I just hop over into this results section, this is gonna show you the results that you would get in YouTube if you typed in this phrase. So you're just gonna see the exact same results you would get on YouTube. And here, what we can see is all of the videos uh, that are showing up and so when it's saying that there is an optimization uh, I've got a high optimization score what that means is a lot of these other videos aren't using that full um, uh, search term in their videos so for example here we've got okay TubeBuddy tutorial here it says full tutorial uh, notice how actually this one the thing that is different is it's the uh, <laughs> this one hasn't got a space between tube and buddy so if I was to come back to here just for a moment let's just try this if I just click it like that and click on explore we might get a slightly different result now. Uh, so there, now we see it's gone to excellent. <laughs> so there was the change that has just really helped me actually, is to change it from tube space buddy to tube buddy full tutorial. And now with the weighted one, you see what a difference it has made to my uh, my score. Uh, and so now I've still got the, um, the high search volume. Uh, the competition is... Um, looking better now than it was before uh, and also the optimization strength is still high because <clears throat> if I go into the results um, there is not many people that are using TubeBuddy full tutorial uh, so there are some people <laughs> the ones you would expect uh, Nick Nim in there uh, the ultimate TubeBuddy full tutorial uh, I would have to say at this point definitely check that out if you want to know uh, more about TubeBuddy I shouldn't be sending you to Nick's uh, videos straight away off the bat should I but there you go uh, so this is where you can see there are lots of other people making videos but as of those top ones here all of these ones have got TubeBuddy full guide uh, TubeBuddy for YouTube there's not many people that are using TubeBuddy full tutorial. So if people are searching for that, there's only a few people at the top that are actually covering it. So that is what this means when it says <clears throat> the optimization, optimization strength. It means you have the opportunity to do a better job of optimizing your videos than the competition. So there we go. I think we've got an element for my title for this video. <laughs> TubeBuddy full tutorial. Uh, the next thing down we've got here is the number of videos in search results. So this is the number of uh, search results returned at 1.82 million uh, in the uh, in total. The, res the number of results in the videos. So um, uh, that's giving an indication of the competition. So in the search results, 
there is <laughs> 1.82 million videos related to this. So quite a lot out there. You're going to be, a, 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 I, I should say, in this particular instance, I'm going to be one among many. Uh, the number of monthly searches. Um, now, this is actually the number of people who are actually searching for it. Now, I've just chosen something here where it says insufficient data. Usually, you would have a, an indication of the number of people that are searching for this uh, like per month. So uh, that would give you some indication there. Now it says here you versus the top ranked videos. So this is looking at the uh, the top ranked videos and the average number of views that they get. So there is 31,000. Uh, what this down here is looking for is the lowest video view count found in the top ranking videos. So uh, there is there's still top ranking videos, but that is their average view count. This one here is your own view count and it's your average number of views from your last five videos. So this is the same thing that you see in YouTube Studio where it will say, you know, for your previous five videos or 10 videos or whatever you've got, your average number of views. So that's just that exact same thing. So this is just sort of giving you some idea of the uh, number of views that you get on your videos compared to the uh, the competition for this particular keyword. So that is how the uh, the overall scoring works. I have obviously just mentioned the fact that you can go in here and see the results. So you might want to just have a look at, you know, what others are, are doing. This would also be another indication of, uh, you know, looking at the highest ranking videos, you might be able to get some cues from thumbnails, even at this stage in terms of, you know, what are all these people doing? Uh, they're all looking... <gasps> shocked <laughs> as seems to work on videos but um that is uh, the uh, just another little tip here that you can actually look at what the top ranking videos are doing with their thumbnails coming back to the uh, summary though um here you've got um some uh, little options along the top now let me just try and pick a uh, uh a completely different search term that's actually not related to anything i want to just have a look for Apple iPad. <laughs> I'm trying to find something. Uh, Apple iPad Air 2022. Let's see if we get any trend from here. Because what I want to show you is, uh, now this we can sort of forget all the score because it's not going to be relevant. What I did want to show you though is this chart because it wasn't showing up for that last search term, uh, but it will, uh, it will show up for this. So over here, we've got a number of tags, uh, tabs at the top. We've got YouTube, we've got Google, video topics, and common tags. So this one is telling you um, the performance of this particular uh, search term or this uh, set of tags, uh, keywords, I should say, um, on YouTube. And so here, this graph is showing you over time uh, how that, uh, what the search results have been for that. So um, that's what that graph tells you. Obviously, there's a bit of a spike there around the announcement date, I'm guessing, because I've just changed this to iPad Air. Um, but you can also look over the last 12 months as well. So you can see where there has been a spike in interest. So this is so that you can have a look at like what the trend is around this particular keyword and if it's you know increasing in popularity or whatever it happens to be. Um, you can also see the number of new videos. So this is the number of new videos published about this topic in the last three days. Obviously, people are going off the uh, latest iPads and uh, making videos about other things these days, such as the cycle of Apple products. Uh, but you can also find here the exact matches. So this is the exact keyword matches found in the top results. This is the same sort of thing that I was talking about uh, just a moment ago in the results where you have got the, uh, the actual keywords are appearing in the actual results themselves. Self. Now down here we've got other related searches so this is coming back to that thing of looking at other related searches. What you can do here is you can uh, come down and uh, we can sort of click through on some of these and we could uh, uh, if I go to either select all and or you could come to uh, select none of them or you could go up to the video tag limit. So if you wanted to add these things to a specific uh, you know, tag list or something like that, you could do that. Um, or you can also add it to the topic planner. So I'll be talking about the topic planner a little bit later, uh, but that's basically a way that you can sort of plan out videos that you want to make or topics that you want to cover. So if you've got a load of different videos or uh, you know, ideas that have come out from this, you can actually just add those to the, uh, the topic planner as well or you can uh, add them into specific tag lists. So if I come into, uh, let me just come back now uh, to my uh, Tube Buddy full tutorial. 
In fact, let me just uh, not do that because what I can show you is <laughs> they do actually have the recent searches that you've done. So here it is just down at the bottom, in fact. So uh, it almost looks like I did that on purpose. I didn't, by the way, but there you go. Click on that TubeBuddy full tutorial. It will bring that one back. So let's say I want to add this particular tag. Uh, they've got uh, TubeBuddy full tutorial in different uh, languages and things like that. TubeBuddy full tutorial 2022. Uh, let's say that now what I want to do is I want to add that to my uh, tag list. So if I come down here, I should find that I have got a TubeBuddy tag list. So if I click on that one, uh, then it's basically now just added those into that tag list. So it's a great way to sort of search and build up your, uh, your tag lists as you go along. Uh, so we've seen that we've got this uh, YouTube search. We've also got a Google tab here as well. Uh, once again, uh, we've not got the graph this time, but you would see exactly the same thing for the trend in terms of the search volume over time uh, for either the past 30 days or 12 months. And this is on Google. So this is for Google search. The one we've just looked at was the YouTube search. Now we are looking at the, uh, the Google search. So this is people searching on Google itself on the web. Now, what you can see here is uh, you would see all the related searches if uh, if there were any for this particular term, but you can also see this thing, video carousel. And what this is saying is that on Google, there is a, uh, a video carousel for that particular search term. So if I come over to uh, Google for a moment, here we've got, uh, I've just searched for Google uh, TubeBuddy full tutorial, which was that search term. And as you can see, if I come down, you can see that we've got this video here. And then we've got a whole series of videos uh, just beneath that as well. So this is basically saying that um, if I come back over to here, uh, this is basically saying that uh, there is a video carousel. Uh, and so if we know that, then we know that there is a potentially, if we do everything else right, a chance that we might be featured in that particular spot. Um, so then if I come over to video topics, um, these are related searches that you might want to consider. So how TubeBuddy works. Uh, how to TubeBuddy, <laughs> how to set up TubeBuddy. So these are different video topics. Uh, and then what we can do here is the same thing again. We could either add those to our uh, tag list or we could add them to a topic planner uh, and we could just optimize those in the SEO optimizer as well. But we'll come on to that in a little while. And then you've also got in here uh, common tags. So these are common tags that people have got in their videos uh, that relate to these particular um, keywords. And it's just taking a moment to load up. I don't know quite why that is. It doesn't normally take any time to load up. Um, but basically this gives you a list of tags. And then just as before, we can add those into the, uh, the tag lists just using this little option at the bottom. Um, I've talked about the uh, the results, but yeah, this is where you can see all of the different results. And then with the map, it would actually, uh, in fact, here it doesn't have any data to show, <laughs> but this would show you the sort of regional results of where people are searching by these uh, search terms. So that is the Keyword Explorer, and that allows you to sort of really sort of drill down and start to get an idea of the keywords that you might want to use. And the, these then you would use in your tags, you would use them in your descriptions, and you would use them in your titles. Um, but the way to really nail down your um, uh, titles and descriptions and tags and get them all you know right for your specific video is to then have this feeding into the SEO studio and the SEO studio is what I'm going to be talking about in the next video and that allows you to really you know nail down your descriptions titles and tags so I'll see you in that video